Do you reinvest all your savings back into your business? If someone doesn't have their own business, what would you suggest doing with savings so they don't just sit in the bank? There's nothing wrong. I used to think there was something wrong with money sitting in the bank, but there's actually not that. There's nothing wrong with money sitting in the bank. That's actually fine because it makes you so dynamic. Like you can do stuff. You can institute. If you have like 100K sitting in the bank right now, you're in a really good position. You can go make moves. You can go hire somebody. You can go build something and buy something. You can move very fast. If all your money's tied up in stocks or certain funds or in property and, and you have to like liquidate that to, to get the cash, it's, you're so slow. You're like a snail. If I got 100K and you have 100K, but yours is all tied up and mine's in the bank, guess who's going to win? Me. I'm going to be way faster. I'm going to be like, boom, 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 boom. I can make moves really quick. I can buy shit. I can actually use that money right away. So money sitting in the bank is not that bad. But if you have both, it's even better. So if you have a bunch of money sitting in the bank and you have a bunch of money working for you, making money for you, that's even better. Because now you have both. You have the, the, the use of the weapon plus you have the money making money for you. So what I personally do is I have, uh, I have a, an emergency fund for my personal life in my bank. And I have an emergency fund for my business in my bank, in my, in my banks. So we, I have like stacks of cash ready to go at all times in case an emergency comes. So in case for whatever reason, something bad happens, we have a lot of cash just sitting on hand. But I also have cash in property. I also have cash in crypto. Crypto, it's land. And those are pretty much the two main ones. No property, like no like house yet or anything. Um, and then the rest just goes back into the business. Just hiring staff, paying for staff, ads, softwares, coaching. I pay for coaching. A good amount of money every month for coaching. Mm. But I'm not doing stocks. I'm done with that. And I don't want a house right now. Not interested in that. But for those who don't have a business, what, what should they do? I mean, house is, if you don't have a business, a house is not a bad investment. If you don't have a business, like, why not? Put it in the house. It'll go up in value. You make some money. The reason it doesn't make sense for me is because I can make way more money just using that money to make money. House is a snail. Plus, it's all that responsibility of having the house. When you rent, you're, you're just so much more agile. You don't have all that money tied up either. But if you don't have a business, it makes sense to get a house. For sure. It's just, it's just slow. But you'd be, I mean, if you are the entrepreneurial type, you'd be better off taking some of that money and investing in a coach or a business coach or a course or program or something to help you get into business. So you can start making money with money on your own.